hey guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time thank you so much for stopping by uh, my name is eva and i hope that you like my videos and please 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 don't forget to subscribe i will appreciate it if you subscribe and if this is not your first time thank you again for coming by thank you so much for your support i really appreciate it so in this video i want to i was talking about like my experience making friends in the u.s like when i first go here my impression and everything the kind of friends i made and how that like affected me and i don't know how i basically my experience with friends here so when i got to the u.s i um didn't have like any so i didn't have any family per se here uh it was just me alone in chicago i had to figure out everything on my own i had to figure out my classes on my own there was really no one to talk to and boy it was lonely it was really lonely when i got here so i met this guy um and he seemed nice He's like okay yeah we can be friends and everything we're friends very well he seemed like okay he had good intentions for me he was being he was basically being friends with me and all but i would say there's this cultural difference with making friends in u.s especially people that especially making friends with people that are not nigerians or africans for example, you're making friends with like citizens or um, like Americans, like there's just a lot of cultural difference on both sides. So you know how back home it's just easy to say, hey, what's up, let's go get drinks or let's go get food and everything. It's normal. So I came here with that mindset that, okay, um, yeah, I can, I mean, just to hang, because I was lonely just to hang out and have fun and everything, but, I didn't know that this guy felt like I was asking him out, like legit asking him out. But for me, well, like, yeah, he was cool and everything. It was just friendship because I felt like he was nice to me. I would say, well, I, I, I don't know what to say about that, but we talked a lot. He was just, he was literally the only person I was talking to when I got here. And, um, he introduced me to other people. They weren't in my school, but he introduced me to two other people, um, a girl and another guy and everything. But yeah, so it was more like, yeah, the three of us were friends individually. And um, so I'll tell this guy, hey, what's up? Like, we barely hang out. We only see in school. Like, let's just, let's go get drinks. Let's go get food or let's just chill and everything. But... It was more like, okay, yeah, this girl wants something from me or she was asking me out and everything. And it kind of like put a strain in the friendship because at a point I felt like, okay, maybe he had a girlfriend. He later had a girlfriend and he didn't necessarily know how to tell me that he had a girlfriend and he started acting weird. Like things got really escalated and it didn't, it didn't make any sense to me. I'm like, okay, yeah. You felt like I was asking you out or something. Why not have that conversation with me? Like, why not communicate with me? And that's the problem. I feel like a lot of people here kind of like have communication issues. I don't I, I don't want to like make it seem like it's being here or people here. I would say it's just humans nowadays, actually. But a lot of people have communication issues. Like if you feel like this is what this person is thinking like the person has not said it i never asked anybody out i didn't do anything whatsoever like that so why would you just assume like okay i want to date you and everything plus this guy was okay let's not go there but it didn't all make sense to me it got really escalated and he was like i was asking him out i wanted to do things with him ooh, ooh, and all i'm like hell no nah. In my country where i'm coming from that's how we rule we hang out with friends it's not dating it's not a relationship or anything so i know that 
being friends with americans here it's it's really a lot because you have to like learn new things and unlearn new and unlearn the things you think you know because basically they won't adapt to your idea of friendship you have to adapt to their idea of friendship and it's just weird because it makes it sometimes it makes it quite hard yeah it's okay i mean it's really good and it's advisable to make friends with other people not just people from your own clan or people from your own country or whatever make friends with other people like explore spread your horizons and oh boy it gets difficult when these people's ideas and lifestyle don't match yours because you begin to think like okay am i the problem is something wrong with me? you you begin to judge a lot you judge a lot of their actions i mean the other two friends they were cool to me but there was also like this cultural difference like you could tell that there was really a cultural difference because there are some things that okay they would do i'm like ah now so you they be and or or places that they would go i'm like cover myself with the blood of jesus that kind of thing but i feel like you just really have to learn if you really want to make friends with people that are not nigerians or people that are not from your um country or clan or what it's called then you really have to learn a lot of cultures and just change a lot of things it's really hard being making friends here and it gets lonely sometimes especially making real friends like it's really hard because at the end of the day you don't really know who is for you or who is against you and it's more like in this country any little thing you do can put you in danger by danger i mean okay like there's just a limit to what you can do as an international student so you just really have to be careful at the end of the day you're not a citizen if, if push comes to show, they will fight for their own citizens, basically. So, it's just, sometimes it's hard, it gets lonely, but I feel like with time, you will get used to it. You will meet weird people, you will meet good people, you will meet terrible people. You just have to live with it and learn with it, learn through it. So, yeah, that was my experience. Um... I don't know if it was that interesting or anything, but I just thought that okay, yeah, maybe I should like share this experience with you guys. Um, so you guys can see. That's my story. <laughs> but um, yeah, I hope you guys like this video and please, please don't forget to subscribe. Like, I'm really counting on you guys to subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. And remember I said that with every 200 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Money giveaway. Money, money, money giveaway. So please don't forget to subscribe. So subscribe, click on the button. I don't know where the button is going to be on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, shall click on your button. Thank you.